Now the story, a critical reminder to make sure kids are not only buckled up, but buckled in the right way. That's right, our Ashlyn Mitchell with your breakdown on safety now. And Ashlyn, you talked to a car seat tech who says these injuries are avoidable. Yeah, that's right, Lenny and Byron. In fact, staggering data from Safe Kids Worldwide actually shows that road accidents are the leading cause of preventable deaths and injuries to kids in the U.S. Today, I talked to a, a local nurse, Courtney Thompson, who's trying to lower that statistic. Courtney Thompson has spent the past decade educating the community on car seat safety. With summer in full swing and families hitting the road for vacation, she says it's important to be mindful. No matter what age the child is, there's different um, seats and different qualifications. And if you don't know, that's what we're here for to ask. Thompson says it's vital to know what car seat your child needs based on their age and to not make the switch too early. Safe Kids Worldwide reports more than half of car seats are not installed or used properly. You definitely want to be rear facing for at least two years. And then when you are forward facing, you definitely want to secure that top tether along with the seat belt or the lower anchors and make sure that the seat's in correctly. It's kind of twofold making sure the car seat's in there, but then also making sure the child's in there securely too. And something that might surprise you, car seats expire. Usually it's about six years for the infant carrier, sometimes longer than that if it's a, like a four-in-one seat that kind of grows with the child into a booster. But definitely you want to make sure that you get a new seat if it's expired or if you were in an accident. One local mom took the time to talk to us about what she does to protect her child on the road. I just put him in and make sure he's buckled down. Um, I do. He has the little buckle where it bucks between the chest and the uh, groin area. Then I just make sure he puts the seatbelt on on top of that. If you don't know how to install one, just go to your nearest fire station. A mom of a toddler herself. Rosalind Young sympathizes with the family of the three year old injured in a car crash Thursday. He's three and you know, he is he's not that big. So I can only imagine, you know, my heart and prayers definitely goes out to that mom and that baby. I have to always make sure I know we move fast and we may be in a hurry, but these kids are our number one priority. They always depend on us for safety more than anything. And of course, by law, kids are required to ride in a booster until they're six years old and must sit in the rear seat of a vehicle until they're age 15. Of course, regardless of your age, it's the law to wear a seat belt. For more tips on car safety, you can visit Fox10TV.com. Reporting live in Mobile, Ashley Mitchell, Fox 10 News.